Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks again for watching. I tried to do my hair. Um, this is called living in North Carolina when I curl my hair in the morning and then I step outside for five seconds and it goes flat. So that's what it is. But I did try. <laughs> um, anyway, today I'm going to be filming a video that is kind of different for me because I don't typically do a get ready with me just because I don't have a huge following. So I feel like people are not going to come here to listen to me talk, but I really want to do that and I want to kind of walk you through kind of what I do on an everyday basis in the summer with my makeup. So that's what we're doing. Um, it's appropriate that I just said that my hair all went flat because it's summer and it's hot and humid and that's exactly what this makeup is all about. So. If you are excited, please give me a big thumbs up below and subscribe if you have not already. And let's just jump in. So my face is actually, my skin is looking pretty good these days, but my nose is bright red. Um, I don't know what's going on. I have like some irritation. I feel like it's maybe on the inside of my nose. So maybe a zit. Um, TMI, I'm sorry, <laughs> but it happens. So let's see if we can cover that up and get to business. I always need my hair out of or like off my neck. It's so weird. I get hot right on my neck and if I'm hot on the back of my neck then I'm hot everywhere. Also my head gets really hot which is very odd so I cannot tell you why but that is the truth. Okay so I'm going to be kind of talking about life as I get ready but I will tell you about everything that I'm putting on. The first thing that I really wanted to talk through a little bit before I really like talk about life are my base products because what I've been doing in the summer is I have only been using tinted sunscreens now this is appropriate obviously all year but I think in the summer I just find that the Sun is just like so overwhelming and it's so hot and I feel like even if I'm inside my office has a window right here and it's like I just I'm obsessed with SPF also, I'm obsessed with it because I'm really like more into my skincare these days. And if you don't wear SPF and take care of your sun or take care of your skin from that perspective, the rest of it doesn't matter. You can do anything, but if you're getting a lot of UVA, UVB rays, it just doesn't matter. So you always, always, always need sunscreen. And I've just been loving wearing tinted sunscreens these days. To start out, I bought the Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint. And I think I have a video I will post it above where I compared the Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint with the Super Group. And I said that this one is probably more of like a winter one because it definitely is glowier and it's not matte at all. And this one is matte, which is a good summer one. And I still stand by that. I think it's 100% true. Um, but what I've been doing, which is really fun, is I've been mixing this with another one. Now, I wanted to try something with a bit higher SPF. This one has 40 SPF, which is great. That's pretty high. Um, but then I was at, I forget, I think at Ulta or maybe even Target, and I found this one. This is the Australian Gold, let's see, Mineral Lotion Non-Greasy, blah, 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 SPF 50, and it's, um, it's tinted as well. And so this one is also considered pretty clean, so I wanted to try that just because I try everything that's tinted sunscreen and I, I can't stop. Sorry. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be mixing these two because that's what I've been doing. This one is definitely more matte, kind of like the Super Goop, and this one is glowier. Um, the other thing, I tried this one alone and it has a little bit more of a white cast, much more so than the Super Goop. So I wouldn't suggest using this one alone, which kind of sucks. Like I wouldn't repurchase it just because I think there's there are better things out there, but I want to use up what I have, so I'm going to be mixing these two, and I really, really love these two together, and I don't know if I mentioned it, but this one has 50 SPF. Like, I just love the fact that they have 50 SPF in it. I mean, how many times can I say SPF, but whatever. I just love, give me all of the SPF, okay? Now I'm really said it too many times. So I just start by putting a bit of each on my hands. Um, it kind of depends on like, is it really humid out? If I if it is, then I'm going to use more of the Australian Gold because it's more matte. Or if I just want to do both, a little both, I can um, do that. So I put them two together. Put them two together. <laughs> I put them together, and now I just use like spread it on my fingers. 
and go to town. Again, this is a sunscreen. Just use your hands, you, you'll survive. I usually go and wash my hands after. So I don't know if this is gonna cover the redness on my nose, so we might go in with a little bit of concealer. I'm gonna go in with a bit more. Um, one of the things that I have a big problem with, with a lot of YouTubers, is that they don't really understand sunscreen. So if you have a foundation that has like a 30 SPF in it, that's great. But that is in addition to the sunscreen you should be wearing underneath that. You should never just go off of the sunscreen in the foundation because it's going to be such a minuscule amount compared to what you would put on if you're just putting sunscreen on that you, you really can't rely on that. So that's my little PSA. I, um, it makes me really mad because I think people think, oh, it's in my foundation, I'm good. And it's like, no, not really. Also, you should be reapplying it throughout the day. I don't do that as much as I should or ever. So that's one thing I can work on, but okay. So let's talk about life. So life has been fine. It's the summer. Um, I work at a university, which means the summer is usually quite slow. And I work with grad students, so they're there, but they're kind of like, it's just more more chill than normal, which is nice. Um, I went to New York with my boyfriend. We That's where he's from. He's from the city. And we were there for like 10 days, which is maybe the longest we've stayed. And it was nice. It rained all week, which sucked. Like, we were in the city all week, and it rained. Then we were upstate on, like, the both weekends and it wasn't as rainy, but we were there for my birthday and we got to see his family and um, yeah, it was fun. But nothing nothing crazy. Um, we go there a lot, so like for me to go to New York, it's not like, oh, I'm going to the big city and we're gonna see all the museums. Like we try to do something cultural or historical, well, see something historical every time we go, but um, I don't go on like a tourist kick per se. But what I did do is I went to this oil shop. So I've been really getting into not just essential oils, and I hate saying essential oils because I think people hear that word and they're totally turned off. And I get it. Like, there are the hippy dippies where they're like, just take lavender oil, it'll cure your cancer. And like, and it's like, well, no and yes. Like, you have to understand the science behind it all. But, um, I also really like oils like that are called carrier oils for your face and I'm trying to kind of learn as I go but oh I did cover the redness a little bit but um, I'm actually going to be signing up next week for a course on formulating organic skincare like I'm so excited can you see that sorry I have a sports bra on underneath this fancy shirt because that's my that's how I roll um, but I am getting ready to go to brunch, so I'll probably still wear the sports bra out, but yeah, cool. But yeah, I am learning how to formulate. Well, I'm kind of right now, I'm not learning, like, mixing the different proportions and everything, but I'm trying to kind of teach myself a little bit about the different oils and benefits for everything, um, before I start the course. And I have, I will show, I will show you a clip, I'll put a picture in, but I, Cliff, my boyfriend, put together this kind of setup for me to formulate on. I have my little hot plate. I have a scale. I'm getting all of my, my starter kit oils next week. So I'm so excited because, like I was saying earlier in the video, I'm just really into skincare. Like, I think, I mean, I've been blessed with pretty good skin my whole life. I never had acne. But um, as I get older, I definitely have dark spots um, from skin or from sun exposure and I I just I really care more about having better skin than wearing a ton of foundation or makeup so that's why I'm doing it now I'm gonna go in with the Milani this is the baked blush blah, 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 Blake baked blush baked blush and luminoso obviously like it's a staple I got my mom hooked on this and she loves it too what I've been doing with this is I just take my little elf what is this, like a blush brush? And I kind of do a wash of color as eyeshadow. And then I do it on, on my cheeks. And I just find that this, it's just the easiest way to do a little like eyeshadow look, but it blends in so seamlessly because you are using it as blush 
that it's perfect. And in the summer, I, you know, I do want to have a glowy look to my skin, but I don't want it to be too much. So I kind of use this as a setting powder a little bit. Um, but yeah, what about you guys? What have you been up to this summer? Have you been going to the beach? I have not been. Um, we were at the, the lake kind of upstate in New York a little bit. Um, but we'll probably go to the beach. I live in North Carolina, so my boyfriend and I, it's kind of like a once a year thing in the summer where we go to the beach just for a weekend. Now I'm going to be using the Glossier Stretch Concealer. Sometimes I just go in with my finger. Today I want to use my little sponge. I think this is e.l.f. I got it at Target a long time ago and I really need to clean it. Maybe I should use a different one. Yeah, let's use a different one because that's grossing me out. This one is the... I can't think of the name. I will insert the name here. But this one is a little harder. I love this one because it's so squishy. So, um, but yeah, sometimes I just like go into the pot and do that. And I feel like it gives you the concealer that you want, but like a little bit less. <laughs> Make it concealer, but less. That's what we're talking about. So I've been working at my job for four years and I like it. Um, I wouldn't say it's like my dream job. I mean, my dream job would be working for myself. I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur and hopefully one day I will figure that out and make that happen. Um, but in the meantime, I have a really like decent paying job, very stable. My boss is very flexible. I have, I just, it's, it's great. I really can't complain. But I applied to a job, applied to a few jobs. I've just been having terrible luck in the job searching category. And I got the job, which was really exciting. I was like, ah, I got this job, yay. Um, Okay, so yeah, I just blended that out and then blended it into the rest of my base. And honestly, I probably did that in the reverse order. Sometimes I do the concealer first and then the blush, but it doesn't really matter because you want to blend it out. You know, I wasn't going to use this today, but since I'm on the whole SPF kick, I'm going to show you guys this new product that I just got. I'm not going to use a ton of it, but this is the Super Goop, what's it called? Uh, shimmer Shade. It's got SPF 30 and it's meant for your eyelids. So SPF 30 on your eyes because we tend to forget about that area. And I think it comes in four shades. I got the shade Golden Hour, so it's like a goldeny color, which is great. I have um, more olive skin tone, so warm colors, golds look good on my skin, as opposed to maybe like more silvery, champagne-y colors. They don't always look so great. So I just go in. This, it has the most interesting formula um it's like a cushion like a cream cushion so i guess it's not the most interesting but i i really enjoy that and you just apply it and it blends in really smoothly it's a very light wash so it, it while it does have shimmer in it it's not going to be overwhelmingly shimmery um i do wish they kind of just had like a matte color and maybe they'll come out with that but for the time it is called a shimmer shade, so I guess it should have shimmer. And I, I don't always, well, this is new, so I definitely don't use this all the time. I literally just have worn it once, but I do like it. Um, and I think it goes really well with the Luminoso because they both have that kind of like corally, goldy, shimmery look to it. And so they blend in smoothly together. But back to the job, and I'm just going to keep doing this. I keep applying. So back to the job. Um, I got the job back in March, and they were like, "Yay!" The the team loved you. They I had a few rounds of interviews, and they, you know, were we want to move forward. But the company had a hiring freeze at the higher level. So this was a tech company, and they were like a small startup company, and then they were bought by a huge brand, which like like Microsoft level, like Microsoft, you know, up there. I'm not going to say the name just because I don't want to. Um, but they, so yeah, they were bought by that company a few years back. And I think it's definitely kind of affected, obviously, their hiring process and everything. And so they told me, we love you, we want you to start, but we won't be able to give you a start date until the beginning of June because of this hiring freeze. So we'll be in touch, blah, blah, blah. So a month goes by, 
I hear nothing. I contacted them because, you know, I was just curious. And she was like, oh, yeah, it's fine. Like, we'll get back to you soon. I should have some information in a few weeks. And another month goes by. And so at this point, it's April, May. And I emailed her again because I am like the squeaky wheel. <laughs> and she never responded. And I have this thing on my Gmail where I can see if people have read it, which seems a little creepy, but I love it. And I don't mind if other people do it to me. Um, and she read it and then she never responded. So I was kind of turned off and I was really, I was just upset because like, you, what, you're gonna ghost me? This is a huge company, like Fortune 500 company, and you're just gonna ghost me, like, cool bro. And then I got back from New York and I was just like, you know what, why am I, I have the right to know. So I emailed them back and she responded within 10 minutes and she was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. You know, I had some personal problems at this time and blah, blah, blah. But basically they're restructuring and because of that, the job is no longer. So I did not get the job and even though I got the job, but I didn't get fired from the job. So it's just a weird, a weird turn of events. And I, you know, it had been three or four months at this point by the time I heard I pretty much already knew that and so it wasn't like hearing back that you didn't get the job and you're really upset you just kind of like I just kind of knew so I've been curling my eyelashes a lot lately and I don't normally just because my eyelashes actually curl on their own pretty well um, but I do I really enjoy it also kind of obsessed with the Glossier lash slick it's just great and very light for a nice summery look, um, which is what I'm going for. I I don't really wear eyeliner that much anymore. If I do, I wear shadow eyeliner. I don't wear liquid unless I want a cat eye at night, but I don't wear a cat eye really anymore just because I feel like it ages me a bit and I don't need to be aged. So that's what it is. Um, the thing with the Gla Glossier Lash Slick, sorry, I'm looking down, my mirror is right here. But the thing with this is you have to do so many coats, even just for like a little wispy light look. So if you are short on time, I don't suggest it. I would, if you just want like a quick like run over your lashes, I go for the Thrive Cosmetics. And I will link that video above. I did a kind of rundown of higher end tubey mascaras. Um, but this one, I have time, obviously, I'm talking to you guys, and it just gives me such a nice, I, the only word I can use is ethereal, I don't know why, I mean, it is Glossier, so I guess that's kind of their vibe, like, no makeup, makeup, yay, yeah, so, that's life, I, Cliff, my boyfriend, and the guys, have been working on our house as of this past week, which is exciting. Um, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it, but I bought the house I'm in right now uh, almost two years ago, and it was, um, well, it was in decent shape. Like, we could have lived in it, but it was very dated, and I bought it with the intention that we would fix it up. He's a contractor, designer, engineer, he's all these things. Um, so it wasn't like we went in and we were going <coughs> to, sorry, we we're going to hire contractors. It was bought on the assumption that we would do the work and, um, fix it up ourselves. Now I'm not as great at fixing up houses as he is. I also have quite a few other things that I like to do, like film videos and formulate skincare soon. So it's been kind of more on him and his guys. So they started again last week. We had really been on a hiatus just because of money. Like, it all comes down to how much money you have to do the repairs. But we're at like 80%, maybe higher, of the house being finished. And so we just want to finish up, hopefully, by the end of the summer so I can list the house because it was always meant to be kind of a flip house. Um, not like a quick flip, but a few year flip. And yeah, so we have, they did the sheetrock in the hallways. I will insert a picture if you really care. And you can always follow me on um, Instagram. It's just the Dana Ripperton. I will post that here too. And I do kind of 
when I remember I do updates there. I know people want them more often, but I'm not great at that. Um, also, if you go to my Instagram to follow me, it's not a curated page. Well, I love people that have that like, I mean, I do have that artistic sense to me, but I, I don't know, like I love Instagram and I love curated pages, but I don't want it for my page. So I post weird shit sometimes and then I post a beautiful picture, but it, it's not curated. I don't use the same filter every day. I don't do all that. So maybe you want a real person to follow. Come follow me. Anyway. I'm doing so many coats of this, I lost track. Um, and what I'm going to be doing actually is getting really close to the base of my lash line because if you can do that, it gives the appearance that you have eyeliner on and you don't. So there we have it. Um, let's see, I'm looking a little shiny. I actually look nice and like I've got a nice color to me. But I think I do want to tone it down just a little. So let's put a powder on. I am going to go with the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil just because it is like the most lightweight, like ethereal kind of look. Um, I like having this little drawer out. I like obviously having both of them. Um, uh, where was I? I'm just going to do a very light... I like take the brush and put it in the cap and that way you get the least amount of product on. I didn't set my under eyes so maybe I'll do a little bit more there. Alright and the last thing I'm going to do are my brows and I've been trying 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 to wear them like fluffier lately so let's see how this works. I don't really need to fill them in. I think I do just out of habit, but for the fluffy look, I really shouldn't. Um, so I brush them up and then, yeah. But yeah, okay, so back to the house, I'm sorry. This is how I talk in real life too. <laughs> um, the house we have, we got the sheetrock done in the hallway which you probably never saw the hallway before, but it had kind of like holes in it from the sheetrock before and just wasn't looking great. And with all the sheetrock going all the way up from the floor to the ceiling, it looks like a house. I don't know why that's like such a small thing makes it look r more like legit and real, but it does and I'm living for it. The next thing they're going to do is finish the second bath. We have our master bathroom finished, or like very usable, um, but the second bath we gutted a while back, like back in the uh, winter, and had just never got around to doing the rest of it. Um, so they're going to finish that up, and then they're working on the upstairs. Whoa, I got too much product. Yikes. Maybe I'll brush that through. Okay, so yeah, the upstairs was not finished before. It was actually not counted as space. So we had to build stairs up there because it only had a drop down ladder. Sorry, I'm like messing with this brush. I don't know why. We had to build stairs up there and then tear down some walls and we'll do a lot. So that is gonna count as usable space and I'm super excited for it. And those are kind of like the big things that we're, we're working on right now. And hopefully soon it'll all be finished <laughs> um but yeah so that was a fun get ready with me i this is really what i've been wearing on a day-to-day -day basis obviously it does not take me this long to get ready because i don't talk to a camera when i'm getting ready for work but i these are all the products i use pretty much on a daily basis i forgot to mention this one this is the elf i think it's called like beautifully bare and i have it in this shade light it's a tinted eyebrow gel. It has the most hold ever. So you may not like it just because like you, I can like, I can feel my eyebrows right now and they don't move, but I kind of dig that. So I've been using a lot and it doesn't have hardly, it just has like the lightest tint of color, just a wash of it, which I like because I do have dark brows already. Um, I think I mentioned everything else that I used here. 
but if I didn't, I will post it all below. And yeah, let me know if you like this video and if you have any questions and don't forget, please give this video a big like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'd love to hear from you guys. So please comment below <laughs> and I will see you in my next video. Bye.